Grade seven, agriculture and fishery arts. Quarter two, lesson six, farm waste processing. Agri crops and animal production focus on sustainable farming practices to grow crops and manage livestock effectively, ensuring food security and environmental care. The learning competencies for this lesson are explain farm waste processing and perform basket composting and foliar fertilizer fermentation. While for the learning objectives, identify the different types of farm waste and their uses. Explain the importance of proper farm waste management and processing. Demonstrate how to process biodegradable farm waste into organic fertilizer through fermentation. Our lesson is about farm waste processing. These are the materials needed, pictures or samples of farm waste. Sample of different fermented fertilizer, PowerPoint presentation, TV or projector. For the preliminary activities, we will start with a prayer, followed by greetings, checking attendance, and reviewing the previous lesson. Let's think back to our previous lesson. Can someone share their assignment on why proper crop care and maintenance are important for food security and sustainability in our community? After that, I'll collect all your assignments. Let's kick off with a fun and exciting activity called Picture Sorter. Are you ready to jump in and have some fun? You need different pictures of farm waste. Prepare clear images of various items like vegetable peelings, dried leaves plastic bottles, etc. And print them on cards or include them in your slide presentation. To a labeled boards or areas, one for biodegradable, one for non-biodegradable. A timer. Well, this is optional. Lastly, a scoring chart. For the game instruction, you need to divide the class into two or more teams, depending on the number of students. Next, arrange the teams in a way that all members can participate. You can display or hold up a picture of a farm waste item. Each team takes turns identifying whether the item shown is biodegradable or non-biodegradable. Teams must answer within 10 seconds after the picture is shown. After a team answers, place the picture under the appropriate category biodegradable or non-biodegradable on the board or any assigned area in your classroom. The team with the most correct answers in the shortest time will be the winner. Hope your kids will enjoy. Rotten fruit, definitely biodegradable. Grass clippings, biodegradable. Rubber gloves, non-biodegradable. Eggshells, biodegradable. Nylon ropes, non-biodegradable. Worn out tire, non-biodegradable. Wooden crates might take time to decompose, but they are still biodegradable. We have plenty of these coconut husks, which are biodegradable.
plastic containers, non-biodegradable. All right, class, let's think about how we can manage waste. What do you think we should do with biodegradable materials, like coconut husks or eggshells? And how about non-biodegradable items, like plastic or metal? Let's hear your ideas. Good day, class. Today, that we're starting our lesson on farm waste processing, we will talk about something that every farm produces, waste. Have you ever noticed dry leaves, leftover crops, plastic wrappers, or even animal manure on a farm? These are examples of farm waste. Now, imagine if all this waste is just left scattered around. What do you think would happen? It could harm the environment, attract pests, and make the farm less productive. But what if I told you that we can turn some of this waste into something useful, like fertilizers or materials for recycling? That's what farm waste processing is all about. It helps us manage waste properly, protect the environment, and even save money. Today, we'll learn how to identify different types of farm waste and explore ways to recycle, compost, or dispose of them responsibly. By the end of this lesson, you'll see how waste can become a resource instead of a problem. Farm waste refers to all unwanted or leftover materials generated during agricultural activities, including planting, harvesting, animal care, and farm maintenance. It can come from crops, animals, or farming operations. Here are some examples of organic waste that can be found on a farm. In organic waste or non-biodegradable materials that can be found on a farm include items like plastic, metal, and glass. Now, what is farm waste processing involves managing treating, and converting agricultural waste into useful products or safely disposing of it to reduce environmental harm. Proper farm waste processing promotes sustainability, minimizes pollution, and can even create additional income sources for farmers. Advantages of basket composting. Space efficient, improves soil quality. Minimal effort, pest control. So, what is a basket compost? A simple, eco-friendly method of composting organic waste by using a basket or similar container half buried in the ground. This technique is ideal for small-scale farming, home gardens, or areas with limited space as it enriches the surrounding soil while processing biodegradable waste. How this compost works a basket or cylindrical container is partially buried in the soil and organic waste is added inside it. Over time, the waste decomposes, enriching the soil with nutrients and promoting the growth of nearby plants. To make composting effective, start by chopping large pieces of waste into smaller bits. This speeds up the decomposition process. Next, balance your wet and dry materials. Mix green waste, like vegetable scraps and fruit peels, with brown waste, such as dried leaves and sawdust. Steps in creating your own basket compost. Start by choosing a good location for your basket compost somewhere with good air circulation and partial shade. Next, place a layer of coarse materials like twigs or small branches at the bottom of the basket to allow airflow. Then, alternate layers of green waste such as vegetable scraps, and brown waste-like dried leaves. Add moisture as needed and cover the top to retain heat. Turn the compost occasionally to help it break down, and soon you'll have rich, nutrient-filled compost for your plants. To harvest compost, first, check if the material has turned dark, crumbly, and has an earthy smell. If it has, it's ready, gently remove the top layers of the compost bin or basket, then sift through the lower layers. The fully decomposed compost can be separated and used for your plants. If you find any large, undecomposed pieces, return them to the bin to break down further. 
Harvesting compost ensures your plants get the nutrients they need to grow strong and healthy. Another topic is the farm waste fermentation is an effective method to recycle agricultural waste and turn it into valuable products like organic fertilizers, biogas, and animal feed. Fermented fertilizers come in various types, each tailored for specific plant needs and made using different ingredients and fermentation methods. Foliar application is a method of feeding plants by spraying liquid fertilizer directly onto their leaves. Plants absorb nutrients through the leaf stomata and epidermis, allowing for faster uptake compared to soil fertilization. Fermented plant juice FPJ is made by fermenting fast-growing plants like grasses, weeds, or vegetable scraps with sugar. It provides essential nutrients and plant growth hormones, such as auxins. Key ingredients include green plant material and molasses or brown sugar. To use, dilute 1 to 500, 1 to 1,000 with water for fully or spraying or soil drenching. To make fermented plant juice FPJ fertilizer, start by collecting fast-growing plants like grasses, weeds, or vegetable scraps. Chop them up and place them in a clean container. Add molasses or brown sugar to the plants using a 1 to 1 ratio. Stir well, cover the container, and let it ferment for about 7 to 10 days, stirring occasionally. Once fermented, Strain the liquid and dilute it with water 1 to 500 to 1 to 1,000 for use as a full your spray or soil drenching. This natural fertilizer boosts plant growth with essential nutrients and hormones. Fermented fruit juice FFJ is made by fermenting overripe fruits with molasses or brown sugar. It provides plants with energy and natural sugars, especially during the fruiting or flowering stages. To use, Dilute 1 to 500, 1 to 1,000 with water and spray directly on flowers and fruits for better growth and yield. To make fermented fruit juice FFJ, start by collecting overripe fruits and chopping them into small pieces. Place them in a clean container and add molasses or brown sugar in a 1 to 1 ratio. Mix well, cover the container, and let it ferment for 7 to 10 days, stirring occasionally. Once fermented, Strain the liquid and dilute it with water 1 to 500 to 1 to 1,000. Spray it on your plant's flowers and fruits to boost growth. Fermented fertilizers, like FPJ and FFJ, enrich the soil with essential nutrients and beneficial microbes, promoting healthier plant growth. They improve nutrient uptake, enhance soil fertility, and stimulate plant immunity. These natural fertilizers are eco-friendly, boost plant vitality, and are easy to make from readily available materials. For your performance task, you will create your own fermented fertilizer. Choose either fermented plant juice FPJ or fermented fruit juice FFJ. Gather the necessary ingredients green plant material or overripe fruits and molasses or brown sugar. Follow the steps, chop the material, mix with sugar, and let it ferment for 7 to 10 days, stir occasionally, then strain the liquid. Once ready, dilute with water 1 to 500 to 1 to 1,000 and apply it to your garden plot for full your spraying. Document the process and share your results with the class. Reflection on the process. What did you observe during the fermentation process? Were there any challenges in preparing the materials or waiting for the results? How did you overcome them? Application of knowledge. How does fermentation contribute to sustainable agriculture? Why is it important to dilute the fermented fertilizer before application? 
Critical thinking. What other organic materials can be used to create fermented fertilizers? How does using natural fertilizers compare to chemical fertilizers in terms of environmental impact? For your assignment, you will create compost in a bottle. Start by getting a clear plastic bottle and cutting it in half. Add a layer of coarse material like small twigs and small stones at the bottom for airflow. Then layer green waste vegetable scraps and brown waste dried leaves alternately. Keep the compost moist, but not to wet, and cover the bottle. Place it in a shaded spot and turn it occasionally. Observe the process and document the changes as the materials decompose.